नमो तस्वतो अरतो गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन टूडे वी ऑल गैदर है फॉर रैलिक एंड शाइनिंग सेरेमनी एट मेरठ शिदगों का बोडा इट इज अस्टोरिकल डे फॉर नॉट ओनली फॉर सो भारती नॉट ओनली फॉर मेरठ इट्स फॉर अवर होल वेसिनिटी दिस इज फर्स्ट टाइम वेन वी आर गोइंग टू प्लेस uh buddhist relics in constraining uh, ceremony here uh, our chief guest his excellency ambassador of myanmar to india mr moi kaong is on his way to the venue however we will start ceremony now as we need to place uh, our buddhist relics by 9 am so i would like to request uh, uh venerable obhasa please come forward and let us know the short biography and ex- explain the purpose of the ceremony please good morning everyone today i feel deeply honored to talk about something very special the purpose of bearing a body stupa and what it means to place precious things like a body as a relic and jewelry inside it Spiritual veneration. First, Inca is to be like a symbol of love and respect for the Buddha and his teachings. It's a like a how, like how the guiding us on our path to understanding his wisdom. Relic preservation. Inside the stupa, there are special things that remind us of Buddha. It might be his old step that were very close to him. We keep them there because they hold special energy, like a treasure. Pilgrimage destination. Some stupas, especially if they have special relics, become like important places to visit for Buddhism. Today we mark that during Dada Hero's time, as the supervisor of Buddhist studies, we have a special place for people to visit on a big grimace. It's something we will always remember in our hearts. Cultural heritage. Stupas are not just a religious symbol. They are like a unique and beautiful building with amazing art and design. They tell us a lot about history and culture of Buddhism in the region. Siamaji Dada Sodhisana is an example of someone who helped preserve this Buddhist heritage here and even donated precious jewels for the Shredagong Stupa. Kamek Merit, when we have built and take care of our Stupa, and put in the relax and jewelry we believe it will bring good things into our lives. Generosity. Donating jewelry and having built a stupa is like a way of being kind and generous. It shows that we care about the Buddhist community and want to share Buddhist teaching with others. In closing, the wisdom we have shared today echoes the ancient traditions of Buddhism, which continue to inspire us with their timeless faith and dedication as we explore this topic further. Let's also remember the wise examples set by figures like King Asada Sadhu and King Asok, who placed a precious item in the stupas for future generations to benefit from. This art goes beyond mere decoration. It's about preserving the ensuring its legacy for all on the part of enlightenment. Venerable Visayda Bionsa, the first Tibetan Seattle in Myanmar, reminds that ensuring variable items in the stupa was mainly for their future repair. 
Over time, these two birds are twisted, decays from hot weather. When that time comes, those responsible for their upkeep can use the jewelry to restore them. But interestingly, in Myanmar, this has been rarely done in the past. Instead, people often ask even more valuable jewels during renovations, showing their boundless generosity. Thank you all for your kind attention. His Excellency Moi Kyo Aung, uh, Ambassador of Myanmar to India, has already arrived. We welcome him. And to welcome him, I would like to request our CEO, Madam, and Chancellor, Madam, to present a sampling to His Excellency. We would also like to welcome Madam Nila Rong, a spouse of His Excellency. And I request Chancellor Madam and CEO Madam to do the welcome. Uh, I would like to welcome Dao Tin Tin Win. Please come forward and I request our honorable. request our founder sir to welcome him with the sampling. To save time I would also like to request Dao Nini Mong please come forward and I would like we would like to welcome Amurti and Miss Avni to come forward for welcoming our guests from Embassy of Myanmar, New Delhi. And I would also like to request Dao Ning Ong. Dao Ning Ong and Dao Noi Noi Ong. And 